Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Rick Fussell and this is the Ingrain Workshop. In today's video, we're going to be building a zero clearance insert and a zero clearance fence for my miter saw. That's coming up next here at the Ingrain Workshop. Okay, now that uh, I have the, dra the down draft built into the miter saw tabletop, the next thing I'm going to do is um, build a zero clearance insert. You can see the factory insert here. This is a Bosch miter saw, and you can see the gap here. All kind of uh, scrap wood uh, gets uh, caught down in this uh, gap. Uh, you can see it actually has oval openings here. So you can actually adjust it in and out, but I'm going to just take the, the factory insert out and build a zero clearance insert. In order to do that, they have some Allen screws. There's a total of six Allen screws that hold the factory insert in place. And then the Allen wrench is on the back of the saw right down here. And then I'm just going to use this Allen wrench to take out the uh, factory insert. Now to get to the uh, two screws on the back of the insert, it's easier just to remove the uh, top fence and just slide it out of the way. So there's a red knob on the back of the fence and I'm just going to loosen that and then the fence will slide out and I'll do the same thing for the other side. And now I can access the two screws here at the back of the uh, insert. With all the screws out, I can simply just pull out the inserts. Now this is a fairly new miter saw and you can go you can already see all the debris uh, that's inside it uh, and I've just barely used it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up uh, the inside of this and then I'm going to use some tape uh, to make a template for the, uh, for the zero clearance insert that we're going to put in. So before I make my tape template, I'm going to have to take and vacuum and clean out everything inside the, uh, the insert here at the miter saw. With the insert opening cleaned out, I'm going to place the painter's tape over the entire opening where the insert will go. I want to make sure that the tape extends beyond the edges of the opening. This will give me room to work so I can go back and cut it out later. Once I've got it in place, you, I want to smooth down the tape to make sure that it adheres well and there are no air bubbles or wrinkles in the template. Now with the, uh, the tape installed over the opening, I'm going to just use an X-Acto knife to cut out the template. And this will be the template that I use on my zero clearance insert. Just make sure you take your time here and use a fresh new blade. That way you'll get a nice clean cut out template. And then I'm also going to take and mark out the six hole locations for my mounting screws. So for determining the depth of my zero clearance insert, I'm just using a setup block and I have a 3 8 inch setup block. And then I'm just going to sit it right on top of the screw location um, because these seem to protrude up a little bit. And as I can see that this is going to sit down maybe a 32nd to a 16th of an inch. It's really probably a 32nd of an inch. Um, so I know it's not going to protrude up and affect anything. So I'm going to cut uh, my stock down to 3 8 of an inch. And that's the depth I'm going to use for my zero clearance insert. And then I'm going to take my uh, tape template and put that on top of my stock and cut that out over at the bandsaw. So back here at my table saw, I've got my DIY joiner jig, and I'm just going to use this jig to cut a straight edge along this scrap piece of cherry. This cherry is what I'm going to be using for my zero clearance insert. Once I get a factory edge on one side, then I'll put this side up against the, uh, the fence on my table saw, and I'll cut the other side this way. I'll have two parallel sides, and then I can go ahead and tape the template on here and cut out the, uh, the edges and then both ends.
Next, I'm going to apply my template to the stock piece of cherry, and I'm going to line it up with one of these straight edges. That way I'll only have to go back and cut one edge. And I'm going to break out my tape measure here and measure the actual width of the template. And the width of the template came out to 3 and an eighth inch. And that's what I'm going to set my fence up over at my table saw. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and cut out the uh, opposite edge. While I'm still here at the table saw, I'm going to use a 3 8 inch setup block to set my fence from my blade. And then I'm going to go ahead and raise my blade to the highest height, which for my particular table saw is 3 inches. Since our insert is 3 and an eighth inches wide, we're going to have to cut this with two passes. I could have lowered the blade and cut it uh, exactly in half, but I went, went ahead and decided to go ahead and cut at 3 inches then rotate the piece around and then cut out the bottom eighth of an inch. Next I'm going to jump over here to the belt sander where I've got I think 120 grit on here and I'm going to go ahead and sand down uh, the template and I want to get it down to exactly 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, now that we have our zero clearance insert blank uh, cut down to the uh, correct width um, and also have it at the correct depth, which is three eighths of an inch, the next thing I'm going to do is here at the band saw, I'm just going to cut out the, uh, the top and bottom of the template. And again, I'm just going to leave maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And then once I get it cut out, I'll go over to my uh, belt sander and just smooth the edges, and then we'll do a test fit. Again, we don't have to be precise here. We can leave a little meat on the bone, and then we'll just go ahead and sand it off over at the uh, sander. Okay, so now with the uh, blank um, cut down on both the tops and bottoms, I'm just going to do a quick test fit here just to make sure everything fits the way I want it. And I think that uh, is a pretty snug fit. It's not too loose, not too tight. Um, so now I'm just going to take it back out. Um, but for the hole locations, I'm going to use the existing um, insert that came with the table saw. And I'm just going to lay these over my blank and mark my hole locations. And then we'll drill and countersink the holes in the blank. And then we should be able to put a lacquer finish on it. Uh, bolt it down and then do our first uh, cut. After I lay out the holes on the template, I'm going to go back with an awl and just mark the center location of all six holes. And this will help me when I start the drilling process. Now over at the drill press with a 3 8 inch bit and my depth stop set so the head of the screws will be just below the top of the template, I'm going to go ahead and drill out the larger hole for all six screw locations. Now with a quarter inch drill bit chucked up in the drill press, I'll go ahead and drill out the inner hole, which will go all the way through the template. So instead of lacquer, I'm going to use this wipe on poly. This is the same wipe on poly I used to finish my miter saw station and it really came out good. So I'm just going to use this for the insert. So now with the poly dry, the only thing left to do is put it in the uh, miter saw and go ahead and install the six screws. And once I get those fastened down, then I can take the inaugural cut. So the zero clearance insert will definitely help with any tear out that you might have in your workpiece when you're here at the miter saw station. Next I'm going to start on the zero clearance fence. So I'm going to take some three quarter inch radidia pine and I'm just going to rip it to a width of four inches here at the table saw. Here at the miter saw I'm going to cut it down to a length of 29 inches. Then I'm going to do a little test fit here at the miter saw just to make sure that it's at the proper length. 
So my miter saw fence has four pre-drilled holes in the fence. They're oval shaped to allow you for some adjustment. So I'm going to stick my zero clearance fence up against this fence and then trace out the whole locations onto my uh, three quarter inch uh, plywood fence. Now with a quarter inch brad bit in my drill, I'm going to go ahead and drill out all four holes in the fence. Next, I'm going to countersink the holes. I'm going to be using um, T-Track uh, T-Knob and Bolt. Uh, and the stud, it's just got a uh, flat face on it. So um, I did want to countersink it so it will be below the fence. And then I'll have to super glue using CA glue and accelerator. Um, fasten the, uh, the bolts uh, to the hole locations and then um, screw them in with a T-knob on the back side of the fence. So using the T-knobs, I'll go ahead and secure the fence to the actual miter saw. And off camera, I did uh, stain this plywood. I think I stained it a golden pecan, which if you follow the channel, you'll know that's the uh, standard stain that I've used throughout my whole workshop. So now it's time for one last inaugural cut through the uh, zero clearance fence. And there you have it, a zero uh, clearance insert along with a zero clearance fence. The zero clearance fence and insert don't really help much with the dust collection, but it does help tremendously with tear out. So when you're making cuts, it's going to minimize the tear out that's on the bottom of your piece and then the edge of your piece that's up against the fence. And that's the big pro for having a zero clearance insert and fence. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can make a zero clearance insert and a zero clearance fence for your particular miter saw. If you like this video, then please leave it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel and you like DIY and woodworking projects, then I highly recommend that you click on that subscribe button. It's free and painless, and I'd also ask that you click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified of all our upcoming videos. To all my existing subscribers, I really appreciate all the support you've given this channel. I'm Rick with the Ingrain Workshop. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and God bless.